be player I can match you with my first chaotic video. It's a real video for anyone who doesn't fully understand the rules of chaotic. So, these are a bunch of my cards. Um, a Fire, Water, Wisdom. Uh, so again, a Perform Power 5, and then just a Fire, so you're probably gonna go first. I love Nimmer, he's amazing. Um, I'm gonna call this my Desert Rares deck. Ultra Rare Headmaster in Kaija. Ooh, this train, once again. This is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, coming at you with another match on Trade Cards Online. What is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, and what I have is 288 packs of Secrets of Velocity Alliances Unraveled. What is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, coming at you with another live chaotic deck review. So, if you've watched my previous video, the uh, AU Starter Deck Unboxing, uh, you know, I got some pretty awesome pulls, uh, chief among them Ixic here, uh, and so, because he's so awesome, uh, I wasted, uh, no time making a deck with him, and so here is Ixic's Rampage. So, let's get into the primary, um, combo slash main focus of this deck. Uh, so obviously this deck kind of revolves around Ixic, he's your biggest fighter, um, biggest in both the strategical and literal sense because he's a dinosaur with 85 energy. Uh, giving him Zerium armor, just because um, the more energy, the more effective Zerium armor is, and doesn't get much higher than 85 except for a few guys. Um, Ixic, you know, his ability. So other creatures you control have tonless energy. So that's a bit of a bummer, but it's not that big a deal. Um, because he is a war beast, you look right there, that means I can run with Alov. Alov's ability is reduce damage dealt to war beasts you control by five. Not just recklessness, all damage. Um, so this means any attack damage, any recklessness damage, any music damage, any ability damage. And so because the the most important one is the attacks. Now when you couple this with Zerium armor, here's what happens. So say an attack would deal 25 damage. Uh, Zerium armor's ability kicks in, takes it down to 20. Then from there you minus the 5 from Alav's ability. So that means the max amount of damage you're going to be dealt by any non-marksman's prep attack is 15. And with uh, 80, an 85 energy creature, that means, let's see, 15 times 5 is 75. So he can take 5 full hits, like even if they're they're dealing full damage, they're going to be taken down to 15. So 5 full hits and still have 10 energy left. And that's pretty good, and because your attack deck is pretty consistent, you're probably going to be able to kill them by then. So that's why that combo's there. I'll get back to a in a sec. Uh, so you have two other fighters in here. Uh, I put Headmaster in here just to add a bit of strike power. Uh, so you guys have seen Headmaster before. Invisibility strike 15, that's always good. Uh, so now this invisibility ability is can't be negated. What this means is that normally when, say, two creatures with strike face each other, that would mean that both of their invisibilities cancel out, um, because that's how invisibility works. Uh, can't be negated means that it can't be negated, so t if two creatures have invisibility, they both go through, and uh, that's great. Uh, another important part is his third ability, so if you lost initiative, you engage creature gains, strike 10. This means I don't have to care about initiative. Um, if I win, great, I get to go first. If I lose, then that's 10 extra damage, so you almost want to lose more. Um, but again, that option of taking a loss and making an advantage uh, really makes him a worthy ultra. Because of its six ability, um, Drill Dozer will add 20 and then minus 10, so we'll be at 75, that's fine. Uh, he has the elements need for this deck, and he's just a really cool ultra. Uh, you haven't seen Malif in a deck yet, um, if you want to see where I pulled him, uh, go. I'll see that annotation right there, click on it, it'll take you to the um, booster box opening where I pulled Malif, and you can see that. Um, he's in here just for a fighter, Drill Dozer for him. Uh, so he'll be at 60 energy when you factor in Ixic. Uh, surprise, that's always good. Strict 15, always good. When he wins combat, you relocate him into an unoccupied space adjacent to it. What that means is when he wins, so when you win, you would go into the creature, you, if it's your attack. Um, I don't know, regardless. So yeah, ev even if, say, it's um, my opponent's first battle of the game, my opponent attacks, and um, I win, that means I'll actually get to move Mal forward as if it was my attack and I won. So that's really good. And then if you won on your turn, that means you can move two spaces. Uh, so that's just kind of a weird swift thing. Almost swift thing, and that's really good. And so yeah, that's why Mal's in here. And back to Alav. 
Um, he's actually one of my favorite conjurers. The ability being super cool and covering everything, that's one of the reasons. Other reason is air and earth, your staple of penny elements. 55 energy, which means with those elements he can fight. Um, good stats, bronze flight to defend, which means he'll have 100 speed. Uh, plus the counter doesn't hurt either. I have Zelfin here just for straight up counters, that 3 scan of counters. Plus a flute for 4, uh, to cast summoning magic. If you need to use the range and swift, fine, you have some counter gains, um, but uh, feel free to just hold on to those counters for magic casting. In the back, I have Henry Hap High Mage of the Desert. Because of accessibility, he will be at um, 15 energy, so I've given him a, a mind probe uh, to protect him because basically anything that's going to hit him will probably kill him. Uh, if you'd feel safer with a weightless energy vessel, you could do that, but their um, Omar Parathon Racer is a thing people like to use more often than not, so that's an ability, so that's why you need the Isaiah Mind Probe. Okay, so those are the creatures, now we'll go into the music. So I've got a lot of the petty and staples in here, um, and if uh, I think it was F Jack or somebody posted this quote. I think it was from Ocasus, the blog. Um, so, overworlders are good at recovering from stuff, underworlders are good at breaking stuff, Mopedians are good at preventing stuff. And so, you'll see how all that works with these staple and petty magics that we all know of. So, um, I just have a Cadence Clash in here just because for negation. Uh, because of uh, Henry Hep's a bit. Oh, I forgot to mention. So, I recently learned that. Um, uh, Henry, I originally thought Henry has ability applies to anything you played at any point in the match. So say in my first battle, I played an Ember Flourish. Uh, I thought that with his ability you could copy that in another battle. Turns out you can only copy something on the burst. So if I play an Ember Flourish on the burst, that means I can use Henry Hep's ability and copy it and play it basically two times on the same burst, but it has to be on the same burst. Um, so that's just that. So yeah, Cadence Clash. Uh, I have a Song of Shelter just for some protection, cast by Zelf. Uh, Notes of Neverwhere. Basically, this is in here to stop Newmans and Azea because, um, actually I don't think you can stop Azea. Stop Newmans anyways because this is an element deck, plus any other weird stuff that you might have to stop. Uh, Melody of Mirage, of course. Staple, annoying, the Petian card. Uh, I put Song of Recovery in here instead of an Ember Flourish. Um, because this is an element deck, I do a fair amount of air attack so that air 5 is helpful. Plus, because Ixic has so much energy and he's going to be taking so little damage, that this uh, 10 energy, if used on him, could actually tie me over for more than it normally would. Um, so yeah, I don't normally use this, but I think it'll work in this deck. Uh, so let's see, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, last one. Uh, Trills of Demunition uh, just takes away the engage creature's abilities, so you're facing a max war pop, care of the fears, hit him with this, and they're ba they lose their specialness, what makes them special. Um, yeah, it's always good. Uh, so play this with these guys first, and then put any counters you're going to gain on enemy hep, and then if you need to, copy it on the burst. Like, you're probably not going to have to copy a trills. Um, this would be a good thing to copy. You couldn't really... C the only reason you would copy... Okay, another reason you would copy something is if your opponent tries to dispel it, then you can just copy it so that, sure, they dispel the music, but then your ability makes it go through. So that could apply to anything, but if they're not going to dispel it, then you wouldn't need to copy most of these things. Um, so that's the music. I think it's pretty good. It can basically be anything along these kind of standard Mopedian lines, um, but yeah. That's like this. Okay, the location deck next. Okay, so I have one Illusionary Lake to get rid of water attacks. If I had two, I'd use it. Um, just because Super Cool Rain, Dead Water, Devastation, you don't want those things, so this gets rid of water attacks. Plus the Mirage. Uh, Rock River Canyon, because all three fighters have Earth, so you're going to get that additional 10. Plus um, 80 Courage, 65 Courage, 50 Courage, and Surprise. Uh, so, you know, decent chance of winning initially, but again, Headmaster, so you don't have to care. Uh, Silchaw's Mine, I put this in here because if your opponent can destroy Zero Armor, they probably will, so this makes it so that you almost still have it, because you, if you have Earth, you basically have Zero Armor. Um, because your back line is kind of sensitive, and it's better to keep it around than not, uh, two Mipid and Mirage, um, if you get this on your first attack, that'd be really good. Attack with Ixic, you could even use Zelf's ability, get right in the back, lay it down, and then that gives you control, two of them. Um, there aren't too many huge attacks in this deck, so Mip and Oasis uh, just to get additional 10 damage right off the bat. Great staple Mephedian card, uh, Initiative Courage, two of these. Uh, two Rapasak, Chime Grid, um, use your best judgment, but these will generally want to go on your Heimage of the Desert. Um, yeah. 
Uh, lastly, Foothold Assault Trench. You've got one tribe, so this will make you all your attacks deal an additional five damage. Um, this in, this initiative you don't care about. Um, as, so it's kind of good to have one thing that you're likely to lose just to get that headmaster damage. Um, so yeah, you have you have Ixik rolling with you have Alaf still around. You got Zerium armor. You're dealing an additional five. This will probably crumple your opponent like a piece of wet paper. Uh, yeah. Watch the attacks. Uh, so like I said, this is an element deck, so your attack decks are most your attack cards are mostly air and earth. Um, I do have this flash kick in here just for um, to change it up a bit. So five damage, but you do get to look at your location deck. So in case you need to arrange something, you could do it like this. Uh, Mineral mayhem in case of Sarah Navani, and then for some earth damage. Uh, two sediment storm shield, air, earth, bit of heal, bit of speed gain. Uh, earth shape and vapor wipeout in case of Newman Voidland to get your elements back. Um, plus I am using a uh, hurricane, so that could also be used with vapor wipeout. Just quick ten damage for the last shot. Uh, Whirling Whale, your opponent may not play music cards, 30 damage. Uh, Ultimate War Stance, now it is a 4 point, but you do get the 25 damage for your elements, plus the opponent's next attack will deal 0. So this is just kind of almost overkill with Ixic because they're already dealing so little, and then if you make their attack deal 0 guaranteed, you're just going to be pounding them, uh, and if they try to negate it, then you've got other stuff that they're going to have to worry about. Uh, Primal Smash for 20 damage, just going to lay her on some more. And then you get into your staple elements attacks. 2 Air Assault for 15. 2 Earth Pulse for 15. Uh, 2 Marksman to prep, of course, 30. 2 Funnel Blast for 15. And 2 Sand Strike for 15. So you got a lot of consistent, good 15 damage, 1 cards, and then a couple heavy cards just to lay it on. Um, but it's good to have them a petty deck with some defense. Uh, like this one provides. Um, so yeah, guys, that is the deck. I hope you enjoyed. Um, by the time you're watching this, this deck will be hosted on Trade Cards Online, so a link to that is in the description below. Go check that out. Go vote on it. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Um, I have some future... I have some, some more deck ideas kicking around. Um, so my next de video should be a stat deck review. Um, if you've seen it on Trade Cards Online, then, uh, don't spoil it for anybody or anything, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, guys, alright, so, I'm SP Player A, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please click that like button, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you haven't seen the AU box opening, go check that out, the previous video. Um, if you haven't seen the booster box opening, click that annotation that I showed earlier in the video. Uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, have an awesome day.